Yes, YouTube, it's your boy, Kalido Vids, and I'm back here with another video. And today, I'm unboxing the iScooter i10 electric scooter. And without further ado, let's get into it. This scooter has a massive 10.5 amp hour battery. First things first, we have a carrying pouch. We can clip this onto our handlebar or underneath our handlebar on the stem of the scooter. Or we can keep it at the foot place of the scooter, but we'll get to that later. Pretty nice that we have this. Let's take the scooter out itself. We have a massive kickstand here. And in fact, all of our accessories have to be in this pouch. Quite smart of them. Protect the accessories it comes with. In the pouch it comes with. And yeah, so here is our manual for the i scooter i10. Take the flick through that, plug it, file it to the side. Next, we have our power brick. Let's leave that to the side for now. And we have our UK plug, but if you're buying this one for the US or the EU, you should be getting a different adapter. In fact, there's an EU plug here as well. And yeah, that's it for accessories, including this. So, on this YouTube channel so far, the biggest tyre size we've encountered is 8.5 inches, with the smallest being 7.5 inches. But these tyres are both 10 inches, 10 inches big. These actually have two sets of honeycombs, so this should be more comfortable theoretically because we have quite as much the shock absorption while still having a solid tyre, so this won't puncture on you, and this should still last really long. So let's fold it up. This is a different kind of folding system. I haven't seen anything like it before. It has, this, has this axle that rotates. And I think we just go very firm. Very firm way to fold the scooter. And we have this. Oh, okay. Let me show you guys something. So. We actually have this extra clip, so. We can unfold it quite firm. So when we fold this scooter with this axle here, just clunks up because you use a bit of force, snaps into place. And we also have this for extra stability. I've never had a on this channel. I've never had an electric scooter with a folding mechanism that seems as solid as this. Never with this and a little Xiaomi kind of click, but this is obviously a lot thicker, a lot more rigid, seems more durable. Our motor is also not on the front of this scooter, but on the rear. We have a 350 watt motor on the rear drive of this scooter. So, we need to connect this cable here to this blue cable here. So we just need to slot that in right match it up. Okay. 
and it pops into place just like that. Uh, which is that? So this is always the fiddly part. This might be the hardest bit. So we slow it in just like so. So that's off now. And now we use our inclusive Allen key, even though I've got my own special devices here. I can use the standard one just fine. So for this video, I'll use a standard one. So here's our first screw. We'll start at the top on this side here. These actually seem to be very, very well built. There's definitely an upgrade in quality when it came to the manufacturing of this. Because I always have to try and line the holes, but these just going perfectly. Let me switch. And now I go to the other side. So now I'm on this side and I'm going to do it at the bottom, bottom on the other hand side. So let's get that in. And yeah, that's our handlebar screwed in. The ice scooter goes 18.6 miles per hour. That was really loud. If you'd like to check out for review, be sure to subscribe to the channel and slap the notification bell on as it will come out at a later date. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, a thumbs up. Without further ado, peace. Oh,